a, yeah, like chili soup. It's like a soup. It's a soup. Chili is a soup? No, this is a soup. You're but eating, it tastes like chili. You're eating while we're doing a video? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Super Greg Tweets of Corbin. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to give me some warning. Hold on. I'm Corbin. And I'm Zach Creek. Andrew Charles Kieslich. Zach is back, everyone, uh, with another review. And he actually watched this a little while ago. We just finally got to him doing a review of it. But he kind of watched Dongo without my telling him to. Uh, cause he, he, wa- cause do. before that you watched PK and you watched three idiots, right? Those are the two yes. Amir Khan films that you had seen before this, right? Correct. Okay. And then uh, I saw that he was on Netflix and I watched this one. Yeah. And so he watched the 2016 dongle film. If you haven't watched Rick and I's review, obviously we watched this two and a half years ago, probably now. Um, it, back when we first started the channel, we watched this one very early on, but it's obviously directed by Natish. Tiwari, uh, and then it's starring Amir Khan, uh, and then a couple of people that I can't pronounce their names, but Fatma and Sanya, and a whole bunch of other people, but mainly Amir Khan. All right, this is fun. <laughs> okay. I did this. <laughs> Anyways, so like I said, it's a hundred percent spoiler review. If you guys haven't watched this film, go watch it, come back. And if you haven't seen Rick and I, because it's not going to be my review, I'm just going to be talking to Zach about it with him. Uh, if you haven't seen Rick and my review, you can go watch that. It's on the channel already. So, Zach, your thoughts of the film, please. Uh, it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. It, it got me hooked. Um, it was uh, especially after watching the other two and it, just how different he is. Yeah, this one's uh, more of like a like a, a, a like acting or sitting around his acting oh, and the performances yeah. and uh, stuff was, like that. And then the uh, you know the 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 body change and like I was like, dude, he's huge. Like he was fit in PK, but then he was, he was huge in the beginning, and I was like, dude. And then he was even huge, more huge, just a different kind of huge. <laughs> And I'm, I'm not, I'm not, uh, what is it, uh, fat shaming him. He looks so, still look good, but it was just different. Um, and it, you could tell it was him and not like a bodysuit or something or CGI or whatever. Yeah. And it was just a, a kind of mind of like that raging bull. You know, Robert De Niro kind of did the same thing. And then, you know, Christian Bale and everyone do that, that weight game, but in the same movie, it was just, it was impressive. And then his acting was just really impressive. Like it was really a different person. Yeah, he's called Mr. – I think they call him Mr. Perfect or Mr. Perfectionist. Yeah, something I think he said something like, like that before. Something like that. Uh, that's what they call him in India. But, yeah, this was, I think – we've seen 12 or 13 of his films now, I want to say. Oh, wow. Uh, he has a lot, and so we haven't even yeah, – This really was like my his, third, I think. Uh, scratch the surface of him. But um, he he's done, like, big mass films for, like – I mean, I wouldn't call 380 a mass film, but, like – a commercial film, I guess, would be more of that. But he usually always tries, especially later in his career, kind of to have a message in his film. Um, well, I think that, the, the the three movies that I've seen all have had messages. Yeah, that's um, kind even of, with Three Idiots um, being the more comedic, it was still that message. Yeah, he he, he kind of has that thing of he d- he doesn't do a lot of films at one time, but he'll like to do one film, really focus on it. Um, and obviously commit himself like he actually got fat. There's a video, which you didn't watch, did you? Did you watch no, no, it? No. Rick, nope. I mean, Zach, I will punch you in the face if you did. I don't think I did. <laughs> I swear. I was going to have you no, react I, I, to it. <laughs> I didn't watch anything. <laughs> oh, you didn't? No, I didn't watch anything. Uh, I feel like you're lying to me. Anyways. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah, he actually um, obviously gained all that weight and they filmed everything. And then he went into training um, and got obviously crazy, crazy. Yeah, buff. no, I, I watched it. Now they, yeah, I watched it. 
I like to do research, and I saw it. And it was just, but I watched it in Hindi. So if you have one in like subtitles, like I didn't even have the subtitles. <laughs> and I didn't ridiculous, ridiculous, Zach. I told you not to. Watch that. <laughs> now I remember you. I didn't at the time. Oh, I remember word. you saying that, and not that it would have stopped me before. Though. Anyways, but yeah, yeah. So his performance in this and how it differs from the other ones, but yeah, he he really likes to kind of delve into his roles and i thought this one really showed his acting chops this is probably definitely i mean I, there's a couple that i really loved his performance in but this one obviously was a one of his better performances overall yeah i need to see i want to see more of him because just compared to pk and three idiots uh his act i mean he was great in that but this this was definitely like showed his range and that yeah. he transformed that's you know what I love about acting for the most part is you transform to another person. Um, what did you think about the like overall film as a whole, though? Um, oh, and I thought the film was well put together, mm-hmm. and uh, I thought everyone like the little girls that played his daughters, um, the two daughters. Uh, I thought they did excellent; that they did really good, and um, and then even with the older ones, uh, I thought the the way it was shot, I thought even the fight scenes or the wrestling was really good, and. Um, I just thought it was like a really well done. I mean, the music. So I, really, I love about these movies. The music's always really, really good. And so. Uh, and this one didn't uh, have the big Bollywood numbers. This just had kind of background music or training I was, montage I was music. For like a, a big wrestling uh, musical number, like where a fight scene, like a West Side Story type thing, but with with wrestling. <laughs> so it's, I was disappointed in the movie. It's very possible. And do you like the. Um, uh, obviously, the no. kids. I thought the kids were actually really good. No, but, I do. Uh, I think I, I like the kids. Like the kid yeah, kids, or the, the when they got older kids, or both. The kid kids. The kid, the kids. kid kids. Yeah, I thought they did really, really well. Yeah. Um, Me too. But uh, nice. it... <laughs> shut up. Review the film. Um... <laughs> <Some> questions. <laughs> It's not a question thing. You just need to talk about it. Of the of the I, of the three, though, like Amir Amir uh, Khan films that you've seen, what are what's your favorite? I think it's all different. Like this was a better film. I mm-hmm. I would say that. Um, I think I liked the message a lot in PK. Mm-hmm. Um, Three Idiots was a lot more fun. Yeah. Um, but I think I, I think if you look at like acting and just how the film was uh, put together, I mean this this one was really uh, by far I think the best. Yeah. And uh, um, I mean I still I like the message too because I I like I, I like women and I like that they're they should be treated. <laughs> it's twenty twenty two now. Women can do things. <laughs> so I agree with that. <laughs> I'm glad you agree with that. I like my coffee like I like my women. Respect it. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> um, how but many yeah, films? How, how many films have you seen overall in India? I think uh, none in India. I've seen them all in San Antonio. Okay, gotcha. but um, uh, I think sixteen. I think I'm at sixteen right now. Interesting. But What's... I'm not counting. Uh, there's the short film that you had me watch with um, Irfan. Oh. And not and Nawaz, I think, is in there, too. Yeah. That was a really good one. That was a good one. Oh, and I'm not counting Life of Pi. Oh, and uh, uh, the other one, the famous one, the, the first one I ever watched. I can't Slum, remember the name. Slum 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 there. Yeah, that's there not a, neither of those are Indian films. Um, Irfan was in... Both of them? In Slumdog and uh, Life of Pi? Yeah. He was in Life of Pi. What do you think about his wife in this film? She's great. She's a good wife. <laughs> uh, nothing like... I thought that... Uh, so here, this is what I want to say. I'm, I am trying to remember the movie because it was a while ago. Uh, I did not like his character right away. Uh, because uh, it was Amir's, Amir's. Because gotcha. I, 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 when he wanted to train the daughters, because it was very like, "This is your dream, Dad," and he was 
kind of abusive in that way where mm-hmm. forcing his girls to forget their childhood and focus on this thing just for his dream kind of thing. And, mm-hmm. and I did like the him and his wife's dynamic where she did say, hey, you know, let them be kids. And he's like, just let me have, let, let me just try this. Let me just have this once. Mm-hmm. Well, let me do it this way. And he was he wasn't mean about it to her like he was to the girls. Like he was really uh, like hard on the girls. But he they still had that. It was a relationship. Yeah. Um, and so I did like that. I just didn't like how he treated her at first. But then I liked how the dynamic switched when the girls went to that wedding. and was like, oh, I wish I was, you know, my dad didn't make me do this or that. And the, the girl getting married was like, I wish I wasn't getting married or forced to being married. Someone I don't know. At least you have a choice. At least you get a future kind of thing. And then that really changed their perspective. And yeah. I understood what their dad was doing, even though I don't think he originally was doing it for women's rights. I think he was still doing it for selfish reasons, but it got yeah. into it. So, yeah. Yeah. No, that's good. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, yeah. I was remembering. <laughs> that's, that's good. You actually talked about the film. <laughs> that's why we try oh, yeah, to do, give me a second. That's why we try to do these uh, very soon after you watch a film. So you remember know, everything. So, I went to Wikipedia and started, I was like, okay, let's refresh. Let's see what, what the plot's about. <laughs> um, and you know, he's doing, uh, uh, Forrest Gump. I'm ready Forrest for Gump. That. Well, yeah, I think it comes out in April. Okay. I know it comes out this year. So you might be able to see it in theaters. If it, if do you it, think it'll, well, it, they definitely go to theaters in San Antonio. I don't know where, maybe the, what was the yeah. artsy house film theater in San Antonio? What was it called? What's the artsy house theater and isn't over on like i-10 i know what you're talking about my parents always go to that and watch them what's it called they're indie movies yeah i forget what it's called but Me yeah I, I don't know in san antonio where it would be but i'm sure it'll be somewhere because it's going to be a massive film and it, it will get distribution here and yeah i, I, I would love to go to the movies with that one um, um i'm excited for that um but, i also really liked it to talk about the movie i really liked uh i liked the creative choice uh, it stressed me out at the end of the movie where they locked him in the supply closet, right? Because uh-huh. the coach didn't want him to, you know, interfere or whatnot. Um, that kind of stressed me out. But I really liked the creative choice of having, because I was like, he's gonna miss it. And I said he would probably still be happy that he she won, right? Even if mm-hmm. he didn't see it, at least he'll be happy. But that he heard the music, mm-hmm. he heard them play India's. Um, anthem. The nation's uh, anthem and the national anthem, I guess is how you say it. And uh, just how he, I got him, I got emotional with that part because like, he understood what was happening. He was like, he didn't need to see it. And that was, that was enough for him because he's like, my dream. Because it wasn't really about his daughters winning. Even though he loves his daughters and he wanted that for them, it was the fact that India got gold finally. And that was his whole goal. And that it was someone in his family. Yeah, there's um, a, a – we don't have – what do you – is that your kid's binky? Yeah. <laughs> when I get stressed, I just I don't – There's a whole um, kind of section of films. I wouldn't put this one in it, but obviously a lot of films do have this element in it of patriotism. Uh, India, like – nationalism patriotism um and uh for, for india um and there's actually like i think specific genres that are just like they're trying to make indians feel this overwhelming sense of pride in their country i don't really think right. we have that here unless it's just a military film and you kind of feel just more for the military i guess than yeah. um, or i guess if like a, there's a nine there hasn't really been a good 9-11 film so, <laughs> uh, I don't think any of them are good because of what happened. But yeah, that's just me. You know, yeah. that's just. Didn't that's Nicolas good... Cage do a 9 11 film? Yes. It was the World Trade Center, I think. That's I went right. to the movies to see that one. And How was it? Was it good? No, it wasn't that great. Uh, <laughs> or, like, yeah, we have that with, yeah, like I said, war movies or when we have like an American history movie, like when we had Lincoln and all that stuff. That kind of ties us. But yeah, we don't really have yeah. anything like that um but like yeah that. there's there's quite a quite a few films that'll bring out that pride element of like the, the first runner that got a gold medal or um 
all, a different kind of stuff like that. Stuff uh, they've made quite a few films. They just did one. It was called Eighty Three. Wow. It's a Ranveer who was you saw in, in Ram Lila. It was uh, right. the first time India won the Cricket World Cup. Um, okay, that's really cool. They um, that film just came out, so there's a lot of those kind of ones. But I thought this was one of the better sports movies that I. That, that's uh, what, and I was gonna say I that, like it a lot because of all the and I've seen, especially my my dad really likes um like sports dramas or those kind of based off true story things, and I think this is one of the best. I mean, like, yeah. this is like that really like um that Rocky type. Yeah, um, yeah. Training somebody up, and uh, I think this was one of the the best done because I think of the message. Because here in the states, I um, mean, you know, that's it. Even though we have our fair share of you know the sexist issues that kind of like that, it, it's not a, like a that was a bigger cultural thing. Yeah. Um, it, it, it wouldn't be weird if you wanted to, you know, cut your daughter's hair or something here or whatever, like it is there. Yeah. So. And this was, I forget, he what what year did it say this was taking place in, did it say? Oh, um, yeah, because I think it ended, like the end was like 2010, 2010. something like that. Yeah. So I think um, throughout yeah. that time period. Yeah, not and, too far. Now, and I think they were, I forget what village they were in, but they were in a much smaller village uh, yes, most in, definitely. In, in, in the beginning. So you'll have some more... Um, stuff like this that would come up as opposed to like if you were in like Mumbai or uh, much more bigger cities uh, right. like that. It was one of those things, but yeah, I think it's a, a fantastic film as well. I think it's one of my favorite Amir Khan performances uh, for sure. There's one that's called um, Rang of Asante, I think is what it's called. And he plays, he doesn't play a freedom fighter, but he's inspired by the freedom fighter. Um, okay. story that for when India got its independence. Um, okay. And I think he does a really good job in that one. Um, but yeah, I was really, I was really impressed. I think this made me like, I knew I liked him in PK, but this really made me appreciate him more and I did more research on him. Him and his wife had divorce. Yeah. A few did. months ago. I saw yeah. that. I saw the, the video. Didn't understand uh, what they were saying, but I assumed it wasn't good. Yeah, no, I, I heard that as well. It's very sad. Um, but yeah, he's a fantastic actor. I like him a lot. Um, so you guys can let us know what should be the next film that Zach will watch. I actually think I have one in mind that I think you might might enjoy. Not, not Amir Khan. It's actually a Malayalam film that just came out in December. I do need to see more of those, right? Well, you've only seen one, right? Which one? Kumbalanji. No, I've seen t- then the, the, uh, Great Indian Kitchen. Marriage Story. Great Indian Kitchen. Yeah, so you've seen so two. two, but you never viewed either of those, which is strange. No, because <laughs> uh, both of those are fantastic films. Um, I think I kind of talked about uh, Great American Kitchen a little bit on another review. Great Indian I, Kitchen, it's not Great American whatever Kitchen. Called. Yeah, the, the, sorry, Great Indian. I almost called it a marriage story again. But there's one. It's actually Malayalam's. That uh, you guys don't know this. Zach is obsessed with superheroes, specifically Superman. Malayalam, yeah. Um, We're gonna get in trouble for that copyright. <laughs> no, Malayalam uh, industry just did their first superhero film. Ooh, yeah, I want to say um, but it's like it's it's you can't really compare it to like uh, Marvel because their budget of was course. like ridiculously small. So it's more a Malayalam story, like small uh, village story that has superhero elements. So it's Great. I, I it's not really a even though I think they did a good job with the CGI, um, but you'll see some of like the the budget Comparative. constraints with the yeah. CGI. But I think it's actually a really nice story. The villain and it's fantastic. Um, so I think that one you would enjoy. It's on Netflix. I will um, watch them. Yeah. But yeah, so maybe we'll. That's you guys cool. can let us know if uh, I forget, and I'm not going to have you watch it right now. I will send it to you <laughs> if I want you to watch it. <laughs> I can look it up. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. <laughs> You guys can let us know if that's what we should have him watch. If not, what should Zach watch next? Um, we'll see if he's seen that one video that I wanted him to react to for you guys or not. Uh, let us know. Devil. Devil.